Terry Robinson with SE Magazine, and I'm here today at Black Hat 2014 in Las Vegas with Aviv Raff. He's the CTO and co-founder of Secular. Hi, Aviv. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Great. Aviv, how and why do malware bad actors continue to evade legacy security systems? So the, the way I look at it is basically they, you know, the, the traditional security solutions are mainly focused on trying to prevent the attack. Uh, and the bad guys know that, so the, instead of coming directly you know, fr uh, from the door, they're going through, through the roof or through the window, basically um, you know, going through some blind spots that uh, the, you know, the, uh, those traditional security solutions are not able to, to prevent. So instead of, you know, instead of uh, putting more focus on prevention, Enterprises should you know, start looking at detection pieces and, and be able to detect those attacks instead of just prevent them. I heard a lot of talk lately about malware takedowns. Um, how successful have they been, or how will we know when they've been successful? Uh, th that's a great question. So we recently had a blog post about that. Uh, we've seen two major uh, takedowns uh, recently. Uh, the game over Zeus was very recent, and and. And there was also the Shylock uh, botnet, and unfortunately, you know, just a couple of weeks after uh, the takedowns, the uh, the attackers, which are you know basically doing that for the money, uh, they didn't wait and they created a, a new botnet. So it doesn't seem to be very successful, uh, you know, uh, for, uh, for the te you know for, uh, from the law enforcement part until they actually catch the bad guys. Uh, on the other part. Uh, for, you know, for the security industry, it, it's a bit of an issue because it actually escalate things. So the attackers now innovate and, and create new challenges. Uh, you know, f uh, for the security industry, you know, building uh, the defenses, uh, you know, much higher, making us do that. Um, what are some of the biggest threats organizations face now? So, so we see, you know, many, uh, you know, many vendors when they talk about APTs, and everyone talks about advanced persistent threats. Many of them uh, focus on, you know, on the A part, on, on the advanced, whether it's com coming from China, or it's uh, exploiting a zero day, or it's some new sophisticated malware. But I think the biggest threat threat is is about the P of uh, of the APT. It's about the persistent threats. Those that. Uh, the attackers are doing everything to get in, and those that basically went under the radar for a very long time. So, so you know, enterprises need to look not just on the advanced attacks, but also about the persistent attacks. And what else can companies do to protect themselves? Uh, as I mentioned before, they need to move their focus not just to look at uh, prevention tools, but also on detection tools. They need to understand you know, how they uh, combine those together in order to have a full protection.